Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you all of the 37 shortcuts now available in Luminar Neo. Now, if you want to get our shortcut cheat sheet, just wait until the end of the video and we give you the printable updated shortcut cheat sheet so you can download them, have them ready, and you can even print them and have them on a side of your computer. So we have a 37 shortcuts to go through. So let's jump into it. So again, we are here in Luminar Neo and today we are actually starting in the catalog module. Now Luminar Neo has uh, three different modules, it's the catalog, presets and edit. So let's start by looking at how you can move between these modules. So when we want to move into the presets module, we simply hit the T on our keyboard. So that brings us to the presets. Then when we want to move into the edit module, we hit E on our keyboard. And then go back to the catalog, we're going to hit L for library and that brings us back to the catalog. So again, T for presets, E for edit, L for catalog. Now we're going to be focusing on the catalog module and we're going to go through the list. So as you can see, we are looking at the preview here and we're looking at the catalog preview. So this is how the catalog view look. But when we want to look at the single image, what we want to do is to hit space bar. So that way it brings an image, single image to the screen and our catalog moves to the bottom of the screen where you can see little thumbnails of it. On the side here where there is little eye, you can click on it and you can actually open and get few details about the image itself. It tells you details about how it was captured, the date, the resolution and size. So we hide that and again we use the space bar to bring it back to the catalog view. Now to search the catalog, all you need to do is to hit Command or Control F. That way you get this little search bar and you can search for images, folder, and you can search by name, date or extension. So let's say that we're looking for color tool folder. So we just hit all right color and you can see you get the results here. Then you just pick one and when you click on it, it brings you directly into the folder. So let's go back to our shortcut folder here and carry on with the list. The next option is add folder with the images. Now you have a two options of how you can import images into Luminar Neo. You can do it one by one by using the add photos option and we will cover that in a moment or you can import the entire folder with the images. By importing the entire folder, the benefit of it is that once you make any changes to that folder, you add images, remove them or anything like that, it automatically updates in Luminar Neo. So that is a great option, especially for large amount of files. To add folder with images, you need to hit Option, Shift or N or Control, Shift, N. That opens a new window. Then you simply have to locate the folder with the pictures. So let's just try one. We have this test folder and inside of the test folder, we have this picture right here. So we click on add folder and that automatically brings it into the Luminar Neo. So as you can see it, it's right here and it has the image inside. So once again, if you make any changes inside of the folder, that will immediately change and synchronize with Luminar Neo here in catalog module. The next option here we have is a new album. So you can bring folders and then you can create albums from your pictures. So how to do that? You simply hit Command or Control N while you have an image selected. And that creates a new album at the bottom of your list. You can change its name to, for example, Test for Us. Then you hit Enter. And here you have the images ready to be worked with. Let's go back to the shortcuts and carry on with the list. The next option we have is add single photo. 
So as I mentioned earlier, you can add single photo or you can add the entire folder. To add a single photo, you just need to hit Command or Control O. So that way you get into your folders and you just need to find one picture. So let's say we're going to use this one right here and hit open and that goes and opens the image and actually it brings you into the presets module. So you start your edit from there. Now go back to the catalog. We just need to hit L. And once again, when you go all the way on the top of your list here, you have the single image edits and that's where all your single image imports goes and you can see the image is already here. So once again, we're going back to our shortcuts folder and we carry on. Now we have a two more things we can do here. One is to export the file. So in order to export the file, you just need to hit shift command or E or on the Windows machine control shift E. So what it does, it then opens the export panel where you can choose the name, add some tags, choose the location and do other settings to your file. Once you're happy, you just click on save. The other option we have here is to print. And to do that, you just need to hit command or control P. So that way it starts to open the printing panel and you can print from there. Now the next section we're going to be focusing on and we're going to be looking at the shortcuts is the image view. So we're looking at this part of the catalog. Now, when you import your files, you want to be able to grade them so then you can filter them. So when you have a lot of files, you want to see which one you like, which one you don't like and which one you're not sure about. So in order to do that, Luminar Neo has an option of marking your images as favorite, rejected or unmarked. And of course, there are shortcuts for it. So let's select our image here and to mark it as your favorite, you need to hit P on your keyboard. Once you do that, you get this little heart at the corner and the image is marked as favorite. Then you can also reject the image and you do that by hitting X on your keyboard. So you get the little X in a corner and the picture actually gray out just as you see on the screen here. And to unmark the picture and bring it to its original state, you just need to hit U on your keyboard. So this is how you mark your images. P for favorite, X for rejected and U for unmarked. Now we're going to bring the image into the single view. So we do that with the space bar and we have a few more options we can do here. We can rotate the image by using command and the brackets so we can rotate it one way or the other. Then also what you can do, you can actually synchronize the adjustments between the images. So let's go back to the catalog view and I already edited this image here earlier. So we select it and then we select the picture next to it. And what we're going to hit now is shift command and S and what it does, it copies and pastes the adjustment from one picture to the other. So shift command and S or shift control and S. Now, anytime you edit image, you get these little sliders in a corner, as you can see here. And to bring the image back to its original settings, you need to select the image. So we're going to do that. Let's say we select this image and we need to hit shift command and R or shift control and R. And that removes all the edits and it also removes the little editing icon on a top. Now we have had two more options here in the view and that's to move to the trash and show image in the finder or explorer. So when you want to move your image into the trash, you just need to hit command and delete. So that takes the image and put it into your Luminar Neo trash. So you can see it here. To bring it back, you just right click on the image and click on put back. So we go back to our shortcuts. And again, here continuing, we have the show image in a finder or explorer. That's when you want to find where the original image is located. And you just use command or control R. So once you do that, it opens this view and you see where the image is on your computer. Again, going back into the Luminar Neo and that's it for the catalog module. So the next set of presets will be for presets module. So let's move to the presets module by using T on our keyboard. And here there are really only two presets to use and that's the undo and redo. So first we need to apply some sort of preset to it. So let's say we're going to use this filmatic and we want to use the Mate Noir. Once it applies, you can check if you like it. If you're not happy with it, you just hit command or control Z. What it does, it actually undo the application of the preset. Now, if you made a mistake and you actually like the preset, you can redo it. And it's done by using shift 
Command and Z or Shift, Control and Z. So again, it takes a moment and it actually applies the preset. So this is all the shortcuts we have in the presets module here, and it's time to move into the edit module. So we click on E and we're going to be focusing on the edit module for the rest of this tutorial. So here in the edit module, red start by resetting the image by going down into the actions and click on revert to original. Now starting with our shortcuts, we have the zoom in option, which is command plus or control plus. So we can zoom in. And to zoom out, you use Command or Control minus on your keyboard. So that's about that. The next option is to zoom to 100%, which is very good for when you're adjusting sharpness or looking for noise. And to do that, you just need to hit Command or Control plus one. So that's 100% zoom in. And to fit the image to the screen or window, you just hit Command or Control plus zero. So that's that. Now, the new update with the 1.0.6 now have the clipping indicator and to bring it on, you need to hit J on your keyboard. So once you do that, you will see these little blue and reds on your picture and that basically mark the clip highlights and shadows. To remove it, you hit J again. After that, we have few more shortcuts, one for crop tool. So you can bring that on by hitting C on your keyboard. So that brings you to the crop tool and you can adjust the crop of your image. Then we have the erase tool by hitting command or control E. So you can remove unwanted elements of your image and then you can copy and paste the adjustments. So let's make some adjustments to this. Let's say we're going to push the accent and we're going to use the sky enhancer. And we are also going to go inside of the denoise tool and remove some of the noise you can see on your picture. Once we finish, we're going to hit command or control C to copy this edits. So command or control C. Then we go back to the catalog module by using L. And let's say we want to apply the edit to this image. So first we reset it so we can right click on it and use the adjustments and revert to original. And then we bring it back to the edit module. So we select it and use E on our keyboard and we will simply paste the edits from the previous image on this image by using command or control V. So it takes a moment and it applies the edits to this image. So you can see it directly on the image and you can also check it in the edits panel and the tab here in the corner of your toolbar. So as you saw earlier, we had some enhance and we also add some denoise to it. So continue with this image, we're going to move to the mask tool shortcuts. So for this, we need to choose one of the tools. So let's say we're going to choose the develop tool. Let's say we're going to bring the exposure down and we move our attention towards the masking. Most of the shortcuts at this moment are working with the brush tool. So we select the brush tool and we focus on what we have here. To increase or decrease the brush size, you can use the brackets on your keyboard. So let's bring the mouse in the center so you can see the brush. And as you can see, I'm using the brackets to make it smaller or make it bigger. What also works in this view is to decrease or increase the brush softness. And this is done by using a shift and brackets again. So you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. So that way you increase or decrease the softness of the brush. And finally, we have two more options here, and that's the invert the layer mask and clear the layer mask. So let's say we're going to paint with the brush and that way we're going to apply the effect of the filter and tool to just certain part of the image. So you can see we have this part of the image here and let's go back with the brush into the mask action and let's show the mask. So from here, we're going back to the brush tool and from here, we're going to use the command I for invert the layer mask. So command I and what it does, it basically invert the selection. So earlier, only this part was selected and everything else was unmasked and unselected, where now this part is unselected and unmasked and everything else is masked. So to bring it back again, we use command or control I. And finally, the last option is to clear the layer mask. So to bring it back to its original state. And we do that by hitting command and delete. And as you can see, the mask disappeared. 
So those were all the 37 shortcuts for Luminar Neo. As you can see, there is quite few for the catalog module. There is only one or two for presets and fair few for the edit module. So I hope this is going to be helpful. If you need, once again, right after this, I'm going to give you the link so you can download the cheat sheet and enjoy the shortcuts and speed up your workflow. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.